Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to be reviewing some IT Cosmetics. For the first time, I've never tried their stuff before. I've gone various times in store to like swatch and things and I just wasn't too pleased with the shades that were available for me especially. But I thought I'd give it a try. They came out with a new foundation recently and also i've heard really good things about the bye bye under eye concealer so yeah, i'm a bit late to the game but we'll see how this works before i jump into the video i'm gonna do my post notification shout out and today's one's gonna go to jasneth so thank you so much for supporting my channel and showing some love i really appreciate it and if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so Right, let's jump straight into it. Okay, I got everything on Cult Beauty. First thing I picked up was the Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skincare. And it says on here that it improves bare skin in two weeks and that really caught my eye. And I also saw the shades and there's about 40 shades on there, which I think is pretty good. And they have a good amount of, there's a good amount of shades and their deepest, and their deepest one is pretty, pretty deep. I feel like when, when brands start to go darker and deeper, they tend to stay more on the red or really, really cool gray side. I've come across some deep shades and I'm just like, how is this a skin color? I think what brands lack a lot of the time is finding that right uh, deep, deep shade <clears throat> that has a slight red tone, not like literally red or has a slight golden tone. Um, that's just from personal experience when I was working on the counter, but my voice is so croaky. It's, <clears throat> it's like 7 a.m. right now. It's getting croakier and croakier as the days go on. <laughs> so I paid 32 pounds for this foundation. It offers all day hydration and coverage while feeding skin with good for you ingredients that will smooth tone and refine skin texture over time. It's infused with micro fine illuminating pearl powder, um, Uber hydrating industry favorite hyaluronic acid, soothing aloe vera extract, exfoliating heaps acid, I don't know how to say that word, um, and nourishing vitamins E's and B5, medium coverage, lightweight, buildable formula, blurs imperfections, minimizes the look of pores, gives a glow, and it just says apply one to two pumps with your favorite foundation brush. Not gonna blabber on too much. Oh, but before we put the foundation, I also got a bit of the It's Confidence in a Cream. Now, I have swatched this in store, like tried it on my hand, and I love the smell, and it feels really nice. I paid £15 for this little tiny box. <laughs> box. But you know what? I wanted to, you know, give it a try before buying the full size. Um, and you do get quite a lot. It's 15 mil, but I feel like this will last me quite a while. Now, it's a very thick moisturiser, which I really like because my skin is so dry oh my god my nose is peeling like crazy because once it starts getting really like that crisp cold weather in the uk my skin changes instantly okay so this is what the foundation looks like and i got the shade tan neutral which i'm hoping is the right shade a little bit liquidy but the shade looks okay it's super lightweight like it's blending really nicely you one side it's definitely got a glow to it and this is without and I'm not mad at the shade as well hmm. once I start putting it on my skin like it feels really really thin so it's around like a pump on each side the brush works really well with it I'm just gonna see if this is gonna cover my scarring here. I've like, just got a bit of scarring. I mean, it's evened out a little bit and it's covered my scars that I have at the moment really well. I would definitely agree that it's medium coverage, but I'm not gonna lie, this feels so nice. It feels like barely anything on my skin and I'm really happy with the coverage. It's definitely, it's definitely a type of coverage I would go for on a daily basis at the moment. Um, not that I'm wearing makeup much these days, but like once I go back to the office, I feel like this is something I would go for. Now we can move on to concealer. The concealer was 25 pounds. 
I really did not know what shade to go for. I thought I would go for like tan, but I ended up going for medium natural and I'm a bit scared that's gonna be too light, but we'll give it a go. Apparently I just need a little bit of this stuff. And that's what it looks like compared to the foundation here. Apply a little bit. I feel like a little will go a long way, but it's applying very thinly i'm just gonna take some more a little bit more in the inner corner but it's very it's I, I i thought this would feel really heavy but it's really not so the coverage is pretty good and the shade is actually not that bad i'm really happy with the way that's looking right now let's do the other side And then finally from a cosmetics i got the bye bye pores translucent powder comes with a little powder puff whoa it's literally gone everywhere press that Hmm, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a bit hard to brush off that ashiness first, but I don't know, like right now it looks fine. I don't know if it's that if that's the powder, but I am not fond of the way my eye under eyes are looking right now. This is a thing I hate when I try new products. Like this looks so bad underneath my eyes. It's just separating and the powder's made it ashy. So I'm gonna take this off and do it again. I've removed everything and applied some Laura Mercier powder instead on top of the concealer and that looks way better. I don't know if you guys can tell but it's not separating and it's not accentuating my pores. Yeah, that was definitely a bit of a disaster but I'm happy with the way it's looking now. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I really like the foundation. I'm not too sure about the concealer yet but we'll see. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right guys, I've done a very natural look today because I'm not doing anything special and this is really me, to be honest. Um, but I actually forgot how good the Cocoa Blend Palette by Zoeva is. Like, the eye makeup is so subtle, but like the gold is like, it gives this wet look. I just love it. It's so pretty. And um, on my lip, I'm wearing the NARS Orgasm Afterglow Lip Balm, which feels amazing. Like, this is the type of thing that will go straight in my bag. Um, but anyways, back to the base. I really, really like the way the foundation applied sits on my skin and is looking. I love the shade of it. I, considering the fact that I chose out 40 shades online, I'm quite proud of myself, if I won't say so myself. But um, the concealer, I'm not sure. The powder is a no. Like it, you know when it's so dry, like it literally does little black dots on my skin where it's like literally highlighting my pores. It's so bad just a no for that like it just didn't sit right on my skin um i really like the moisturizer i definitely see myself using it especially at night time because it's so um hydrating and it says it's anti-aging as well it's never too early to start we'll see how this sits throughout the day it's now 7 49 a.m we'll wear this throughout the day as usual and we'll see how it you know wears just a quick close-up Okay guys, I am back. I don't know why my camera is showing up so yellow because it's like very yellow right now. It's 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 5.42 p.m. To be honest, I've barely noticed that I've had makeup on. The only thing that I have been noticing when I look at myself in the mirror is my under eyes. I know it probably looks okay on camera, but you know when you're just so used to your under eyes look, looking a certain way after putting your favorite concealer on or like one of your favorite concealers on? 
you know it just looks a type of way and it just smooths it out and makes it look flawless i just feel like this concealer is just not it for me it I feel like it's accentuating the hollowness in my eyes. That's what I feel like. It does crease and Yeah, I just I just feel like the concealer is not for me But the foundation I'm actually really happy with I really like the shade It's worn out really well The only thing that I would say is that it does separate in some areas like a little bit on my smile lines and a little bit here as well because of all the facial expressions I make but overall I, I feel like it stayed on pretty well it's definitely up my street more on the skin like side with a bit of a glow now i wouldn't say that it really 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 stood out to me i'm not gonna lie like it's a nice foundation yes but is it worth the coin i don't know like i i, I bought the l'oreal so i bought the l'oreal skin paradise tinted water cream which is actually the same kind of vibe as to the it one but there's a big difference in price. I just feel like this has a little bit more coverage, but it's still on the natural side. The color's really good for me. There's definitely more shades in the It Cosmetics ones compared to the L'Oreal one, um, which I definitely feel like they should improve. But yeah, I just don't see myself repurchasing this. I, I just feel like I would reach for this. Um, will I continue to finish this? Yes, it's not something that I'm just gonna throw to the side and not use. It's not that bad. Like it, it, it looks pretty, but out of all the foundations I've tried and all the tinted moisturizers and skin-like foundations that I've tried, this is not one that's really like, wow, you know? <laughs> Whilst this one, I was pretty shocked with the finish of it and it, I was really pleased with it and it's super affordable. So yeah, I just, I'm just like meh. So I don't know, I've, I really like the moisturizer, but I've just, I'm so disappointed with the powder. That looked horrific on my skin. I'm sure these products have worked for many out there, but it's just really not working for me. I'll give the foundation like a six, seven out of 10. Like it's good, but it's not wow. But yeah, I'm not mad at the shade. It's just, I just, all of this like is a no. I might actually buy a full size of the cream because I really do like the cream though. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's so there was some separation here, a little bit of smile lines. My under eyes is just, I just, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. It's just this, like it's just. It's just, it's just not working for me. I also tried a new mascara which smudged everywhere, which I'm not really fond of. I do hope you found this review helpful and please don't base your research just on my review. Like, see what other people are saying about the foundation. Is what, And this is what I say always because I might not like it for my skin type. By the way, I have dry skin. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but some other people might like it who have a more similar skin type to you. Let me know in the comments below what other products you'd like me to try and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video love you lots bye